YouTube, what's going down? Streamers Playbook here, here to make your streams come true. In today's video, I'm gonna go over how to edit your go live notifications on Twitch, as well as how to read the analytics for those go live notifications so you can see which ones are effective and how you can rework these to get more engagement and more people coming into your streams. Let's go ahead and hop into this. And as always, if you like those transitions, own.tv, best overlays, best transitions, best emotes out there. Check them out, link in the description. Okay, so first off, unfortunately, you cannot change your go live notifications through your streaming software. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, at least on Streamlabs OBS and OBS, from what I've seen, you can't do it. So you, what you wanna do is you wanna go over here, click on your profile icon up here, and go down to your creator dashboard. Now, once you're in your creator dashboard, you're gonna go over here, see this quick actions section. You're gonna to go to stream info. If stream info is not there, click this plus sign right here, this plus button, and then you're just gonna look for it and just add it. You just click like add, and then it'll come over here to the quick actions. So mine is right here. We go ahead and click edit stream info. And here I'm gonna choose, this is gonna be the title of my stream. And then this is where I'm gonna go and edit the go live notification. So you get 121 characters that you can use. For me, I've been playing uh, a lot of Muck lately, so I'm just saying, let's play Muck. But you can put whatever you want, you choose your category. And then once you're done, you just click done and it's gonna save it. See, stream info updated successfully. It's super simple and it's something that you absolutely should be using if you are a small streamer. You wanna bring people, these go live notifications are what's gonna be pushed to people's phones, it's gonna alert them that you're live, so you gotta think of something creative to pull people in. Let me show you how to look at your analytics for these things and show you some of my engagements that were successful, maybe some that weren't. To look at your stats and to see how well your go live notifications performed, you're gonna go over here again in the creator dashboard, you're gonna go to where it says insights, go ahead and click that, and then go right here where it says channel analytics, okay? Go ahead and click channel analytics, and these are your different analytics. You're gonna scroll down, and you're gonna go into this part, it says how have my custom go live notifications performed? You can click learn more and it's going to explain what the engagements are and what the follower reach, what those things mean. Basically, this means that it was sent to 70% of my followers, a little bit more than 70%, and that I had two people engage with that go live notification. But then look at this one, it was sent to 70% of my followers and I had seven people engage. So if you want to see even a more detailed breakdown, you can click this view all and it's going to show you your list for your last, whatever this date range is of go live notifications. So as you can see, streaming with my bro on this Friday night, a lot of people clicked in, okay? But when I just said play muck with me, only two people clicked in, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But look at this one here, this is a funny one. So I recently shaved my head, as you know. So I said, I'm bald, not clickbait. Six people popped in for that one, right? So the thing is, you don't wanna make, if you're gonna, it's okay to use clickbait for your go live notifications, but if you're gonna use clickbait, you gotta do things that you, you can follow through with, all right? Don't just make something up just to get people but be creative. Definitely as a small streamer, you have to, have to, have to be using these go live notifications. You probably don't have thousands or hundreds of thousands of people that are, are following you and jumping into your channel. So you got to take these little wins. If you could get, you know, two, three people to hop in your stream and try to engage with you and, and you could draw them into your community, that's a huge win for you. So definitely every stream I do go in and think of, okay, what can I title my stream? What can I use as a go live notification to try to be, bring people in? And it's worked for me, um, so I recommend that you use it as well. Again, I come out with a streaming tip every single, well, Monday through Friday, and I promise you, you can find something here that's gonna help you with your channel, with your Twitch channel, or you're just streaming in general. So if you're into streaming, subscribe for more tips and tricks. If this video is helpful, go ahead and like it. If you have any questions for me or you have any ideas or anything, throw it up in the comments. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one.